Thank you very much. And first of all, allow me to express my best wishes to all women in this room, in India, and the whole world. Best wishes, all the best. We are with you. <laughs> Mr. Secretary, uh, Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, the European Union is proud and happy to be a partner supporting the India Smart Grid Week 2017. And I'm equally glad that so many European organizations and European uh, companies are present here. I'm not an expert on smart grids, but I have listened with a high interest uh, all interventions so far, uh, and I fully understand the importance of this topic. But nevertheless, allow me to make a few more general comments. For the European Union and its member states, the clean energy transition is irrevocable, and we have set ambit ambitious targets to our energy sector in view of transition to the low carbon economy. By 2030, we share, uh, our, the share of renewable energy in the EU's energy mix should be at least 27%. At the same time, we plan to increase energy efficiency by 30% and to decrease greenhouse gas emissions by 40% all this compared to 1990 levels. In November 2016, the European Commission published a package of legislative proposals named Clean Energy for All Europeans to implement the next phase of the clean energy transition towards 2030. And in this context, smart meters and smart grid-enabled applications will clearly help in achieving these goals. Ladies and gentlemen, clean and renewable energy is one of the key fields, key sectors for EU-India cooperation. During the latest EU-India summit in March last year, Prime Minister Modi and the European Union leaders agreed to launch the EU-India Clean Energy and Climate Partnership. With this partnership, through this partnership, the EU once again reconfirmed its strong will to be a long-term partner to work on a clean energy future and the implementation of the Paris Climate Agreement, both in India and in the European Union. Cooperation on smart grids has been underlined as a key part of the clean energy and climate partnership. And by the way, such partnership on smart grids has been developing, between, such cooperation between India and the EU has been developed over the last few years. And now we can say that we have been able to establish a solid partnership bringing together Indian and European policymakers, network operators, regulators, and technology providers. But today, the EU stands ready to bring this cooperation an important step further through facilitating and supporting concrete project activities and through exchanges and cooperation on technologies, on regulatory reform, and on financing. And I'm pleased to, to announce that later today, the European Union and the India Smart Grid Forum will host an EU-India workshop and a networking dinner. By the way, I would like to invite all of you to this dinner. And this workshop will involve Indian and European policymakers, network operators, regulators, technology providers, and what we are going to do, we are going to discuss best practices in rollout of smart meters and business models in smart grids area. And tomorrow, EU and Indian smart grid uh, stakeholders will also hold a brainstorming session to develop ideas for joint EU-India research and demonstration projects that could possibly be supported by the EU. 
while discussing EU-India cooperation with the Indian uh, policymakers and operators, I uh, always receive a clear message. Our cooperation should be practical one, result-oriented. That's why I would like to reconfirm once again, the EU is committed to deliver concrete outputs. And uh, I would like to, to mention five uh, directions of such cooperation. First, promoting a possible role of the European Investment Bank in smart meter rollout. The second, cooperation in joint EU-India smart grid demonstration projects, co-finance in the framework of the EU Horizon 2020 program. The third, cooperation on a replication study to find out if and how promising European smart, smart grid solutions can be replicated in the Indian context. The fourth, continuation and intensification of the dialogue between distribution and transmit, transmission operators and regulators from the EU and India, and possibly the establishment of an EU-India smart electricity forum in which all actors concerned are gathered and would meet on an annual basis. And the fifth one, the continuation of exchanges on demonstration project experiences through a series of EU-India smart grid workshops. These five points is our concrete proposal, and I'm really happy that these proposals will be discussed uh, during uh, a workshop, and uh, two workshops today and tomorrow. And I'm absolutely convinced that further discussion today and tomorrow will make our proposal for cooperation, I just mentioned, more concrete and operational. Let me end by again saying how pleased we are to partner with the India Smart Grid Forum and the Indian government uh, on this important event. And let me reassure you that the European Union is and will remain a stable and trustworthy uh, partner for India in the future, in the clean energy in general and in this field of smart grids particularly. And in addition to the European institution and the European as a whole, the member states are equally committed and we uh, are working together to deliver, to contribute to the modernization process of India as it was mentioned uh, by Prime Minister Modi during his speech at the Resina Dialogue in January. Thank you very much.